Last night on Eyewitness News, we let you listen to some of Rhode Island Congressman Patrick Kennedy's fiery outburst on the House floor in Washington. Kennedy blasted the media during a debate on a resolution to withdraw U.S. troops from Afghanistan. New at noon, speech is getting national attention. Eyewitness News reporter Joel Brown has more on the story from Washington. Patrick, the House floor was open to anti-war Democrats yesterday for an opportunity to put their opinions about the Afghanistan war on the congressional record. Well, Congressman Kennedy didn't hold back. From Rhode Island. Congressman Patrick Kennedy smiled, then went off. We're talking about war and peace, three billion dollars, a thousand lives, and no press! No press! The lawmaker and son of the late Ted Kennedy went on a rant for over two minutes Wednesday, right before the House voted down a bill to remove troops from Afghanistan. So what is it we gotta do? We gotta double down on a bad policy? to protect the honor of those who've already died? I don't think so. He then scolded the media for its coverage. If anybody wants to know where cynicism is, cynicism is that there's one, two press people in this gallery. But the press did catch his outburst, and it's getting plenty of attention. While many politicians have given impassioned speeches, this one was especially explosive. Billion dollars? Of Kennedy's office isn't saying why the lawmaker was so fired up. You want to know why the American public is fit? They're fit because they're not seeing their Congress do the work that they're sent to do. It's because the press, the press of the United States is not covering the most significant issue of national importance, and that's the laying of lives down in the nation for the service of our country. It's despicable, the national press corps right Gentleman's now. Gentlemen's time has expired. Kennedy was free to speak without fear of backlash. After serving eight terms, he's decided not to run again. Congressman Kennedy's office did not return our phone calls for comment today. On Capitol Hill, I'm Joel Brown, Eyewitness News.